First at noon, new developments in the case of the suspected Fort Lauderdale Airport shooter. Esteban Santiago will not face the death penalty. Today we learned in court that he will instead accept life in prison and plead guilty. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is following the case. He is in downtown Miami with the latest. Gary? Elliot, you laid it out pretty well there, but the fact is this is not a done deal as yet. The judge in this case wants to make sure that Esteban Santiago is of sound mind, that he is mentally competent to make this deal that would see him spend the rest of his life in prison coming out only in a pine box. Stop firing these deputies at Esteban Santiago flew into Fort Lauderdale last January with only a semi-automatic pistol in his checked bag that he retrieved and used to kill five people and wound six. Federal prosecutors announced today Santiago will plead guilty and accept a sentence of life without parole in exchange for the death penalty being taken off the table. Santiago's U.S. public defender said the deal would spare the victim's families the trauma of a trial. The government said victims' relatives were consulted before the death penalty was ruled out and life without parole agreed to. But Judge Beth Bloom said not so fast. She ordered a psychological evaluation for Santiago to make sure he's mentally competent to waive his rights and accept life with no hope of parole. Santiago has documented mental issues. He told the FBI before the shootings that he was hearing voices. And after his arrest, he told agents the government was controlling his actions. And so the judge will hold a competency hearing after a full psychological evaluation is completed for Santiago. If he is found not competent to take this plea deal, what happens? Well, everything simply goes on hold. He remains in the federal lockup. He'll get psychological, psychiatric, treatment, medications, and when the time comes, if it does, that he is found competent, well then the plea deal can go forward or he could change his mind and say, hey, I want to go to trial. We'll have to see how this one plays out. For now, we're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.